Okay, so this is what we're going to be making a box very similar to this one that you could pick up at Hobby Lobby. But we're just going to change the dimensions a bit. I believe our length is going to be 15, our width is going to be 12, and our height is going to be 12. So that's just how we're going to do it. So we're going to hop in Fusion 360 here. Let's go ahead and start our first sketch. So we could either sketch on the front plane or the top plane. I think we're just going to sketch on the front plane for now. And then we're going to click Create Sketch. And then the front plane is our ZX plane. Or we could just click right here. OK, and for right now, we're just going to keep it simple. So we're going to do a two point rectangle. Or instead, we're going to switch it up. Let's just do a center rectangle for now. So we're going to do a center rectangle there. And we're going to sketch at the origin. And then we're going to pull that out. And we're going to go ahead and click our sketch dimension. I'm used to SolidWorks right now, sketch dimension. We're going to click that first line. And we said that our height was going to be 12. So now we're at 12 inches. And here it's going to be 15 inches. So we're just going to click there and type in 15. So this is the front of our box right here. We'll have the sides right here and right here. And then we'll have the bottom ultimately right there. So this is what we need just to sketch our box. And we're going to click Finish Sketch. OK. And if I rotate that, you can see right there. And again, we're going to assume our box is half an inch thick. So we're just going to click right there for our extrude function and we're just going to do 0 0.5 and there you go so as you can see right there we have our first panel and what we can do is we can mirror that panel or offset it or do a number of things so let's go ahead and just do another panel create a plane that is 12 inches away from this face. So we're going to go to construct offset plane. We're going to offset a plane off of this face. We're going to go this direction and we're just going to do negative 12. Okay, so this will ensure that from here to here, from this face to that face, it's going to be 12 inches for our box. So we're going to flip it around, and then now we're going to sketch on this plane. So we're going to click on it. We're going to click Create Sketch, and it automatically puts us in a normal view. And then we're not even going to dimension here. We're just going to use constraints, because we already have this existing geometry. So there's no reason for us to create uh, new dimensions if we know that's going to be the same. So we're just going to click on Coincident here or sorry i have to get used to there and there and as you can see it snaps to it so now we can still move it in this direction for the bottom point and all we need to do is snap this point to that point right there so we're going to click coincident on this point right here let me zoom in to coincident on that point right there okay so now that we did that, you could see that we have our entire box right there. Let me see if I could hide. Yes. So we're hiding the original. We're hiding the original body that we just created right there. And you could see we're using that geometry from the original body to create our second panel. So now that that's done and that's fully defined, we can go ahead and finish that sketch. OK. And we know from if we go ahead and click inspect, we know we did a 12 inch offset. So from this face to this face is exactly 12 inches. So when we do our next extrude, we're not going to extrude to the right. We're going to extrude towards the left. So when we click extrude here, it's already in the right dimension or right direction. And we're going to hit 0 0.5. OK, so now when we inspect again and we click measure, we have right here. And right here, exactly 12 inches apart. So now we have the front and back for our box. 
and same thing if we click right here on the bottom you could see that's 15 inches so now we're going to take advantage of existing geometry again and we're going to sketch on either this face or this face let me look at it from that angle we're going to sketch on this face or this face and we're going to do our extrude in and then we're going to do it across the other side as well and since we use the origin we can just do a simple mirror so we should only have one more sketch to create the four sides of our box and then we'll create one more sketch off the bottom so let's go ahead and create sketch again and select this face okay so now we're in sketch mode and we're going to do a two-point rectangle again so we're going to click here and we're just going to draw our rectangle in space and then again we're going to do another coincident so we're going to click on coincident here we're going to click on this point and on our sketch we're going to click on this point so it snaps to it just like that okay so here again we're taking advantage of our sorry i'm um, uh, wrong uh, wrong point we're going to click this point and that point that's what we want so it's this point here and that point there perfect and then we're going to do it for this point here to snap to that point there so we'll click for here and there and now when we rotate it you could see that we're going to be pushing this way so we would be putting our screws in from the front to back um, and I know that's not the way a lot of people would do it but it's the way we're doing it we'll make another video where we do it the other way and you'll just be able to see the difference but for now that's the way we're gonna roll and here for extrude so we have our sketch it's fully defined so now we're going to extrude that so we're gonna click on extrude again and we're going to click there and instead of going this way if we went this way it would obviously not be 15 inches so we have to tell it that we want it to go the other way so we're going to push this way and for our distance we're going to do negative 0.5 okay so if i look here i notice that it did a join operation so let's go ahead and change that if we go to edit feature and then here instead of join we click on new body so that it keeps it separated because if you look here now that it's joined it's all one piece and we don't want that we want to keep our pieces separate so we have a better definition on how to cut it so we're going to click edit feature we're going to go to new body we're going to click ok so now it keeps the split lines there that we wanted and it keeps it as three separate bodies body one body two and body three and so here Right now we're gonna, as I said, we're only gonna do this left side and then we're just gonna mirror. So if we look at our mirror plane, we're gonna be looking at that YZ plane. And we're gonna take this body and mirror it across this plane. That's why it was so important that when we did our first sketch, if we go back to sketch number one, that's why it was so important that we sketched off the origin because by doing that, we can take advantage of all of our uh, planes and axes in order to make that work. So here now we're just going to do a create mirror and we're going to tell it that we want to mirror this body which we selected and the mirror plane is going to be this plane and you can see here it creates that fourth side as a new body. So all we've done basically is we did one sketch, we used that one sketch, created another body just by doing coincidence and then on our second sketch or third sketch we didn't really do any dimensions either we just used existing geometry to do another coincident and then here on our fourth side all it is is a mirror of there so as you could see not many steps required to create the box and then now we just have to create the bottom which we're not going to go do anything more than what we've already done so we want the bottom to sit inset of our box so we want the bottom to sit flush with this bottom face and we want to push it up by you guess it another half an inch so let's go ahead and do that so we're going to click on create sketch we're going to click on this face right here or this face right here or this face right here we can do anything we'll just click on this face 
And now that we have that open, same thing. We're going to grab a two point rectangle. We're going to click from there to there. And we are going to do another coincidence mate. So we are going to click this point right there on the box and this point right here on our sketch and it snaps to it and we're going to exit out of that. And as you can see, we're almost constrained. We can't move from off that axis right there or off that edge. And now all we need to do is say, Hey, we want this point to snap to this point and that should be our last coincidence. So we're going to click this point and this point. And now our entire sketch is fully defined again. If we were to hide all of our bodies here in the tree. And again, this is the benefit of 3d modeling. I can see everything, hide everything. I can cut things. It's very, very helpful. You can see here we have our sketch fully defined. And if I bring the bodies back, right, it's just showing us that. So now that our sketch is fully defined, we could finish the sketch. We can look at it from the top view right there and we can do our last extrude. So we click on extrude. We click on our sketch profile, which is being created. As you can see, it's dropping to the bottom. So we just got to flip that and say, you know what? We want you to go the other way. And instead of that way, we're going to just push that up and we're going to do it by 0.5. Same thing you could see there, it did a join, which we did not want. So if we go back to edit feature and here on our operation, we click new body and click OK. You can see now that's its own separate piece and we can hide that or isolate it just to see. So this is the bottom. This is the front. This is the back. This is the side. And this is, oh, sorry. And that's the last side. So that is our box. That's the design. And let's go ahead and check to make sure that our dimensions are correct. Cause you know, sometimes I'd be tripping. So here, if we measure from this face over to this face, it says it's 15 inches, right? We wanted a box that was 12 inches high, 12 inches in depth and 15 inches in width. So that width is 15 inches. Hopefully our height is 12. So our length for the top, for the height is 12. And then we wanted our depth to be 12. So if we measure from this face over to this face, it's also 12. So we got it. A 12 depth, 12 height, 15 width box. And that is how you make in 3D model a box. And if we wanted to change any one thing, we can do that. So by going back to our original sketch because we built everything on top of our basically our first sketch that's so parametric modeling so let's go ahead and change the appearance really quickly if i click a okay so now that i've typed the letter a our appearance has shown up over here and we want to make this wood to show the option so we have cherry we have bamboo we have oak we can go with oak for this one and here we can drop that in for each body. We can do one click. So you could see there that each time we drop it on a body, that it just gives us the great color grain that we want. And one more time on five. So this is our box and it looks beautiful. We can do some things to it. We can add handles if we want. That's something we can do actually right now, might as well. So if we click on create sketch and we go right there, we can add a handle and we can mirror that feature or we can go have it go all the way through. So same thing, we're sketching on this face. We can just do a center rectangle actually this time. So if we go to rectangle, center rectangle, and just put it right there. Then we can dimension it however we want. So we can say from this edge over here, right? We want it to be 
away from this edge. And then we can also check to see what the distance is to the other edge. So from here to here, that's also 5.5. So we got it right in the middle. And it's asking us if we want to create the driven, yes. So the parentheses means that if you wanted to change this feature, you can't do it from here. It has to be from here. So if you want to make that 6.5 instead, this would update automatically since this is being driven by that. But let's go ahead and take it back. And then off of the edge right there to the center line, we can make that 2. So now that we have our sketch right here, we can go ahead and extrude that through both bodies. So if we do an extrude and we click on this profile and we have it go this way, we could say we want it to cut and we could just pick a random distance. We can do minus 18 seems to work or we could do minus 20 as long as we cut through both parts. Sorry, I went through that a little quickly. Minus 20, and then here for our operation, we need to put cut, whereas we were doing new body before. And you can see now we have handles on it. So it's not bad at all. And then one thing I just realized right here is maybe for our hand, the actual handle may be a little sharp, so we may want to put fillets in that. We can also do the same thing here where we click on the fillet command. And then we click on this edge and we say, hey, we want it to be a fillet for 0.25. But in this case, we'll just leave that alone. And that is how you make a box. And so here we can click the home button. And that's basically the end of the video. So thanks for tuning in to another video, guys. Let me know if there's something you want to see in another video. I'll make any object woodworking related and drop it down in the comments. All right, I'll see you guys on the next one.